How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be on the best seasonal sets to choose uh, in NHL 22 HUD. The new ones just came out uh, for the summer, actually the summer seasonal sets. I believe they're very similar to the previous one, if not identical, but I'll still tell you guys uh, which ones are the best one to uh, to use and, and to make, all right? So uh, looking at, first of all, the overall content that has come out today in Angel 22 Hut, and here it is. You have Valerie Nachuskin, Burakoski, Cogliano Prime Time here. Uh, you also have Evgeny Malkin, 96 overall card here, June 20th, 2012. Malkin wins big in Vegas. Uh, of course, he wins the Art Ross Trophy and the Hart and the Ted Lindsay Trophy. I mean, what an honor for him. Uh, then also, we have Evgeny Dadnov and Shea Weber, the trade, of course. Vegas and Montreal, that big trade. Funny trade, that's for sure. And you also have the, uh, the icon cards here of the Dallas Stars. Madano, Zubov, because they won the Cup, of course. Uh, back then, so Neuendijk, Lettinen, Belfour, Langenbrunner, Ludwig, and Carbono. So uh, there you go for the content overall. Um, and you also uh, you have some packs that also came out. So nothing too crazy. Icon pack plus the 1A2 plus and Elite pack and Mega Player pack. All right. So here are the sets I want to talk about today. Right. So you have the seasonal, the summer one now that just came out today. Right. So looking at the seasonal. Uh, the old one here for spring. I want to see exactly if they're identical or not. So uh, 185 was 35. So let's see if that's the uh, the case as well. 185 was 35. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit discounted. All right. So as you guys can see, starting off with a mini pack. One mini pack is one seasonal reward. Um, one seasonal is an 81 overall choice pack, which I'm not going to lie. It's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty nice that they do that. Um, they, they give... Uh, other other cards here and other and other potential options for you guys if you're just starting off in hot right as well uh, base pack is two 82 overall is three and like I said if you're just getting started in the hut and you have no one good at all it's gonna be a decent uh, little start here 80 to 82 is three a premium pack is three which premium packs are obviously not very good uh, 83 choice is five a premium players pack is 10 which is really not too bad. Uh, you can get two per day, so that's a good, that, would call, that would take you about five days if you did all that. Uh, the 84 is 12 seasonal collectibles. X Factor Choice is now 15, uh, which, I mean, if you really haven't played NHL or, like, Hut yet this year, I mean, it could be decent uh, having a, having an X Factor Choice Pack. You know, you could definitely use it potentially. Um, the Mega Pack is also 15 now, which is pretty solid. I don't mind that. Uh, an 83 to 85 overall choice pack is also 15 seasonal collectibles. Um, 184 plus is 22 seasonal collectibles as well. So that's not too bad. A jumbo elite pack is 23 seasonal collectibles. An 85 overall choice pack, which I would not do because, I mean, we be better off probably doing a jumbo elite pack due to the fact that you could probably get an 85 in that pack. And then, you know, you get other potential good cards as well. Uh, that's 24. 25 is one power collectible. All right. Then you have 185 plus, which is 30 seasonal collectibles. Uh, then 60 is 186 plus, which is a guaranteed purple item. Uh, 65 is a power up icon choice pack, which to me, don't know why it costs that much still due to the fact that power up icons, I mean, unless you get Lemieux or Gretzky, they're very, very bad and they cost a lot to upgrade them. Uh, then you have uh, this one where you can trade in your old seasonal collectibles, like the season, you know, and anyone, right? It could be... Uh, I guess spring it has to be, right? But in, in theory, that's just how it works. But when it comes to the best one, guys, personally, I'm a believer in uh, doing the packs, right? So, like, if, if you're someone that, like, doesn't really get to play a lot and you only get, I don't know, 15 in the end, I don't do the mega pack, honestly. Um, uh, I definitely would consider also uh, the 84 plus pack. Uh, like I said, it's, it's usually not very good, but I don't really believe that any of these are worth it, the 83 to 85 or, you know, the 84 choice pack or, you know, 83. None of the choice packs to me are very, very worth it unless you literally just started playing the game. Um, power collectible, I mean, it's only one, so it's kind of like, all right. I mean, 25 collectible is just for one power, but I don't really feel like you're trading in all that and getting a lot back, but that's what it is. Uh, I would rather do the 185 plus than the power up collectible because you can get really, really lucky and get like a, I don't know, a 90 even, a 91. Um, or you get an 85, which is always possible as well. Um, the 86 plus seems to be a little bit insane because it's doubled for one overall higher. So I don't really understand why that would be a good idea. So I'd probably not do the 86 plus one personally. Um, 
I would just stick with that. I really wouldn't do any of these, the Icon pack or the uh, 186 one either, just due to the fact that, um, I mean, it just costs so much. Like if you save up all those seasonal collectibles, it's an all or nothing type of pack. If you save up all those and you get nothing, you'd be very frustrated. I think six of the th ones that are 30 and under, because you can at least do those multiple times, probably per month, uh, which is which is definitely what you want to prefer doing. Uh, like if you want to do, let's just say, I don't know, the 184 plus twice, then go for it, right? I think that's probably the best one. Uh, these are going to be the last seasonal like sets of NHL 22, right? There's not going to be fall ones because fall ones will be NHL 23, right? So we'll see how that ends up going. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, that's what I think for the seasonal sets, guys. Let me know uh, which ones you do and which ones you would choose. And if you agree with my takes on these, if you guys did enjoy this video, though, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. And make sure you join the Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.